Magandang araw sa inyong lahat at welcome sa isa na namang video patungkol sa kasaysayan ng Pilipinas. Ako si Attorney Robert Jan Donesa. Ako po'y isang guro ng kasaysayan ng Pilipinas dito sa Baliwag Polytechnic College at kayo po'y nanonood sa isa sa aking mga videos ng Readings in Philippine History. Exciting po ang ating topic sa araw na ito at pag-uusapan po natin ang lugar ng kauna-unahang misang na itala sa Pilipinas noong March 31, 1521 kung saan ito naganap sa Limasawa, Southern Leyte ba o sa Masao, Butuan City. Tamang-tama at Queen Centennial o ika-500 years ng anibersaryo ng unang misang na itala sa Pilipinas, Easter Mass, no? na inaitala sa Pilipinas ngayon, itong taong ito, 1521 to 2021. So, una na riyan, unang topic ko ngayon ay Where in the world is Mazawa? A re-examination of the primary sources on the location of the first recorded Easter Mass in the Philippines. So, ito ay hindi lamang exciting para sa akin. Ito din ay isang personal na topic. Kasi kita nyo naman, uh, ako ay nakasuot ngayon ng t-shirt na butuan. Eh kasi naman ako ay ipinanganak, lumaki, nag-aral, nagkamuwang sa syudad ng butuan. Doon ang pamilya ko nakadistino nung mga panahon na ako ay nag-aral sa elementary, high school at unang taon sa kolehiyo. Kaya naman, alam ko. Ang tradisyon ng Butuan City patungkol sa First Mass, isa itong napakalumang tradisyon ng mga tao doon. Naniniwala ang mga matatanda na dumaong si Ferdinand Magellan sa Butuan, sa barangay na tinatawag ngayong Masao sa Butuan City. Itong barangay nito ay malapit sa Baybaying Dagat. At naniniwala ang mga tao na nangyari doon ang kauna-unahang misa, Easter Mass, linggo ng pagkabuhay, sa Pilipinas. At na, nandun din ang kauna-unahang krus na itinayo nila sa isa sa mga matataas na lupa sa Butuan City. So yung tradisyon na yan ay nailipat sa Limasawa. Nung ika-400 year anniversary, nung 1921, ay minabuti na ng pamahalaang Amerikano, sa ilalim tayo ng Amerikano noon, na i-celebrate ang ika-400 year sa Limasawa na ilipat na doon. Gaya nga ng sinabi ng National Historical Commission of the Philippines, hindi ito tinanggap ng bukal sa loob ng mga tagabutuan, no? Uh, at ang laban na ito ay umabot ng isang daang taon na ngayon. Kaya sa araw na ito ay pag-uusapan natin saan nga ba ang itinala ni Antonio Pigafetta na tinaguri ang Mazawa, isang misteryosong isla. Ito nga ba ay Limasawa sa Southern Leyte o ito ay Masao sa sa kalukuyang Butuan City sa Mindanao. Kaya, tara na! Simulan na natin. So, makikita sa mapa na nasa inyong screen ngayon ang paglalakbay ng plota ni Ferdinand Magellan noong 1521. No? Nabilugan dyan ang Humunhon Island kung saan sila nagpahinga. Sa bandang kanan sa Humunhon Island ay ang Suluan Island. At mula sa Humunhon, 
papuntang west at yan ay papuntang mga baybayin ng Leyte. Sinundan ang baybayin ng Leyte hanggang sa panahon and then doon nag natapos. May tanong na ngayon kung saan sila nagtuloy. Sila ba ay umikot pa norte papuntang Limasawa o sila ba ay dumiretsong pababa papuntang Masaw sa Butuan City? Yan ang question. Mula sa humunhon, sila ay naglawig papuntang Ceylani. Binaybay nila ang baybaying dagat hanggang sa Panaon Island. Sila ay napadpad sa tinatawag na Mazawa. Ito ba'y Limasawa na malapit na malapit na? O ito'y Masaw na malayo pa sa baba sa may Mindanao? So syempre, para masagot yung tanong na yan, meron tayong tatlong primary sources na sinasabi o tatlong pangunahing batis ng kasaysayan. Primaryang batis ng kasaysayan. Ang una, si Antonio Pigafetta. Ang pangalawa, si Francisco Albo. Ang pangatlo ay si Guinness de Mafra. So, unahin natin si Antonio Pegafeta. No? Itong Antonio Pegafeta ay isa sa mga sikat na pangunahing batis kasi ang kanyang mga aklat, nag-iwan siya ng apat, tatlong French, isang Italian. Ang kanyang mga aklat ngayon ang basihan ng ating kaalaman patungkol sa biyahe ni Magellan na naganap noong 1521. At least, swerte tayo at mayroon tayong Antonio Pigafetta na nag-iwan ng mga sulat upang malaman natin ang kabuuan ng biyahe ni Ferdinand Magellan. Si Antonio Pigafetta ay isa sa labing walo at tatlong katutubong nakabalik na matagumpay sa Espanya. Sila ay lulan ng barkong Victoria, ang pinakamaliit sa mga barko ni Magellan na naglayag papuntang silangan. Si Antonio Pigafetta ay sumulat ng Magellan's Voyage Around the World. Mahalaga ang kanyang naisulat bilang pangunahing batis pang kasaysayan. Pangalawa ay si Francisco Albo. Si Francisco Albo ay isang piloto. Siya ay isa rin sa matagumpay na nakabalik sa Espanya lulan ng barkong Victoria. Siya ang pangunahing piloto doon. At ito'y sa ilalim ng pamumuno ni Sebastian de Elcano. Sa simula, siya ay sumama sa biyahe bilang master's mate ng Trinidad o ang barko mismo ni Magellan. Ang barkong Trinidad ay hindi nakabalik. Pero si Albo ay sumama, lumipat ng barko sa Victoria at sila ay matagumpay na nakabalik sa Espanya. Biruin mo napakaswerte niya kasi mayroong mahigit dalawang daan na tao ang nagsimula sa biyahe at labing walo na lamang ang matagumpay na nakabalik at naikot ang mundo. Kasama si Francisco Albo. Si Francisco Albo ay may naitagong logbook ng kanyang biyahe. So ang logbook na ito ay tinagurian ngayong De Rotero o logbook of the voyage of Fernando de Magallanes in the search of the strait from Cape of St. Agustin by Francisco Albo, 1519. Nung tinignan ko ang Albo, eh, medyo straightforward siya at dahil piloto itong si Albo, ay sinulat lang niya ang mahahalaga, importanteng mga bagay tungkol sa direksyon, sa lokasyon, 
at sa mga mahahalagang dapat tandaan ng isang pilotong susunod sa kanila. Mga lugar na mabato at dapat iwasan. Mga lugar na pwedeng pagdaungan ng mga barko. No? So, ito'y para sa talagang logbook siya ng isang marinero. No? At ito'y uh, medyo technical, hindi tulad nung kay Antonio. Ang pangatlo ay mula naman kay Guinness de Mafra. No? Si Guinness de Mafra ay uh, sumali sa barkong Trinidad noong 1519. Noong nasa Molokas na sila banda at ang Victoria ay uh, pabalik na ng Espanya, itong Trinidad ay hindi al- agad nakakaalis gawa ng nasira ito at sa halip na pabalik siya ng Espanya sa daang India, minabuti nilang bumalik sa Pasifiko sa kanilang pinanggalingan. Kaso ito ay nahuli ng mga Portuguese kasi nandoon sila sa lugar na inilaan sa mga Portuguese. Nahuli siya at naging bilanggo ng mga Portuguese. Kaya naman, itong si Mafra ay ibinalik sa Europe bilang bilanggo at matapos ang negosasyon, pinalaya siya mula sa bilangguan kasama ang lima pang mga uh, survivors. So, labing walo na Europeans, dagdag ng lima at tatlong katutubo, nakabalik ng matagumpay sa Espanya at nabuo ang kauna-unahang pag-ikot sa mundo. Si Henis de Mafra, Guinness de Mafra, ay nag-iwan ng kanyang narrative at ang masaya kay Guinness de Mafra ay eh, sumali ulit siya sa biyahe ni Villalobos. Noong 1543 ay nakarating ulit siya sa Pilipinas at tinatayang nakapag-stay siya sa Mazawa. Ang katanungan, saan nga ba ang Mazawa? Where on earth is Mazawa? So unang-una, lagi nilang sinasabi Limasawa yan. At kung tutuusing mabuti, nakailang panel na ba? Nakaapat na panel na ata. Marami ng panel no, mula National Historical Institute hanggang National Historical Commission of the Philippines. Marami ng panel ang nabuo upang pag-isipan, desisyonan at magbigay ng rekomendasyon kung saan talaga ang mazawa ni Magellan. Li masawa ba o Masawbutuan City? So simula nung 1980, puro na yan limasawa. Kaya naman ang Mujeres panel, itong pinakahuling panel, ang sabi nila, eh, nasa butuan na ang burden of proof na mabaliktad pa ang desisyon ng mga panels na nauna. It's either mabaliktad nila ito sa pamamagitan ng pag-present ng mga bagong ebidensya o sa pamamagitan ng pag-present ng mas kapanipaniwala na argumento. Dahil doon, dahil nasa butuan ang burden of proof, tignan natin ang arguments para sa limasawa. Kasi noon pa, nanalo na sila talaga. Balikan natin ang mga arguments kung paano na-resolve ito ng the first panel. Kasi itong mga subsequent panel, wala na eh. Inano na lang nila yung butuan, no? mag-present kayo ng, ng inyo. And then we will reconsider kung, kung pwede. Ang isa sa pinakaunang article na nagdahilan ng pagiging decisive na sa Limasawa ay yung sinulat ni Father Miguel Bernard S.J. No? Si Father Bernard ay isang historian at ito ay very respectable historian si Father Bernard, no? Si Father Bernard talagang nag-focus siya sa pangunahing batis pang kasaysayan, especially yung testimonies ni Antonio Pigafetta at ni Francisco Albo. So, pasadahan natin ang kanyang mga conclusions. Comparing the two testimonies of Pigafetta and Francisco Albo, We come to the following reconstruction of the Magellan itinerary. Number one, from the island of Homuno 
or humunhon, or aguada. No? Nicknamed aguada ang humunhon eh. The fleet sailed down the Leyte coasts and landed at a small island of Mazawa, which lies at nine and two-thirds degrees north latitude. Number two, it was on this island, Mazawa, that Mass was celebrated on Easter Sunday, March 31, and the cross was planted on top of the highest hill. Albo does not mention the Mass, but mentions the planting of the cross. Number three, Albo does not specify how long they remained on Mazawa. Pigafetta says seven days, starting Holy Thursday, March 28. From Mazawa, they sailed northwards and then westwards, stopping at various islands along the route to allow the, the guide who is uh, the Raya of Mazawa, who became their guide to Cebu, to catch up with the larger ships, which were faster. Eventually, they came to the channel between Matan and Zubu. Pigafetta specifies the date. They entered the harbor of Zubu, which is Cebu, on Sunday, April 7. So, it took three days for them to travel from Mazawa to Zubu. From the foregoing, according to Father Bernard, several conclusions seem inescapable. Some positive, others negative. The positive conclusions are the following. Conclusion number one. The first Mass on Philippine soil was offered on Easter Sunday, 31 March 1521, on the island of Mazawa, which lies at the latitude 9 and 2 3rd degrees north. Take note of that, 9 and 2 3rd degrees north. Kasi babalikan natin yan. Yang specific na phrase na 9 and 2 3rd degrees north. Conclusion number 2. The island of Mazawa is identical to what is called in the modern maps as the island of Limasawa. The latitude given imprecisely as 9 and 2 thirds degrees north corresponds substantially to the actual latitude of Limasawa. Take note, sabi ni Father Bernard, the latitude given imprecisely. No? 9 and 2 third degrees north. Hindi exactly, imprecise, hindi tumpak ang 9 and 2 thirds degrees north. Kasi ang 9 and 2 third degrees north is equivalent to 9 degrees and 40 minutes north. At yan ay matatagpuan sa gitna ng Bohol Sea. Wala pong lupa dyan. Nasa gitna po tayo ng dagat dyan. However, ang pinakamalapit na lupa dyan is Limasawa. And that is why Father Bernard said it's imprecisely at 9 and 2 third degrees north corresponds substantially to the actual latitude of Limasawa. Substantially. So ibig sabihin, more or less, more or less, yan ang latitude ng Limasawa. Malapit-lapit. Conclusion number three, no? Limasawa or Mazawa, the fleet 
sailed northward, north and west of Cebu, no? from Limasawa. So, pumunta daw ng norte. No? And so, pumunta ng Cebu. So, those are the three positive conclusions, sabi ni Father Miguel Bernard. The negative conclusions followed from them, namely, conclusion number four, sabi niya, Magellan's fleet did not touch at Butuan or any part of Mindanao on its way from Homonhon to Cebu. And conclusion number five, the first mass on Philippine soil was not offered at Butuan nor at any other point in Mindanao. So itong article ni Father Miguel Bernat na the site of the first mass on Philippine soil, a re-examination of the evidence, ito ay nakapublish sa Kasaysayan Volume 1, number 1 to 4, noong 1981 ng National Historical Institute. So dun sa mga conclusions ni Father Bernat, wala akong ma-comment na negative kasi unang-una, well thought of ang mga conclusions ni Father Miguel Bernard. No? Yun nga lang, eh, we will revisit Pigafetta kasi si Pigafetta yung kanyang uh, primary source. No? Eh, kung meron tayong mistranslation from Pigafetta, maa-afektuhan ang ating mga conclusion. Tulad halimbawa ng 9 and 2 third degrees north. We will check that out kung yan talaga ang sinabi ni Pigafetta. Kasi 9 and 2 third degrees north, wala din naman kasing isla yan. Hindi yan butuan, kasi ang layo-layo niyan sa butuan. Hindi rin yan limasawa, although mas malapit ang limasawa dyan. Pero nasa gitna yan ng dagat ng Bohol Sea, 9 and 2 third degrees north. We will check later on no, ang Pigafetta. After all, um, wala naman siyang talagang pinagkukuhanan, kundi yung 9 and 2 third degrees north lang. So we, we, we better check that out. Another article that can be found in Kasaysayan Volume 6, number 1 to 4, 1981, published by uh, the National Historical Institute. By the way, yung magazine na yun, walang nakapublish doon ng Probot 1. Uh, doon ang conclusion nila, Limasawa, tapos yung mga articles, no? that are used to come up with that decision na kasunod-sunod. No? Ang pangalawang article na pagbabasihan natin ay the first mass in the Philippines as a problem in Philippine historiography na sinulat ni Professor Marcelino A. Foronda Jr. Ito ang kanyang mga arguments uh, kung bakit niya sinabing limasawa ang Tamang Mazawa. Sabi niya, the Philippine Committee on Geographic Names resolved the issue by stating that the correct form should be Limasawa. Hindi ito valid na argument. Kasi ang Philippine Committee on Geographic Names, wala silang authority. It's the NHI of which uh, this question was uh, being offered for resolution. No? Parang to throw it to the Philippine Committee on Geographic Names and to say na it should be Limasawa dahil they say so is a highly questionable na, na argument. Another argument ni Professor Marcelino A. Foronda Jr. Ay, he said that Jaime C. De Vera who had made diligent study on the subject, added that the name Limasawa had been derived from Masawa, the original name still in use by the natives, which Pigafetta jotted down as Masawa, duplicating the S. This is also an uncalled for argument, especially that we have primary documents. And um, 
Dr. Jaime C. De Vera is not a an authority on this, despite the fact that he made diligent study on the subject, and he said that Limasawa was derived from Masawa, I do not think that we need to ask him on this matter, considering that we have primary documents to visit and to see. I did not understand why Professor Foronda argued this way. This is not the way we argue in a very strict historical sense. And then the location of Masawa defined by Pigafetta practically tallies with the location of Limasawa as given by the current gazetteer. So look at it. Father Miguel Bernard says it substantially meet what the locational description of Masawa is. The other one is practically tallies with the location of Limasawa. The other one is substantially, the other one is um, almost nearly. So there was really no exact um, identification of the latitude and the location of Mazawa, of Antonio Pigafetta. Another historian of note, Father John N. Schumacher, in his article, The First Mass in the Philippines, he said that Pigafetta locates Mazawa at 9 and 2 thirds degrees north. This figure coincides exactly with Albo, a witness who is considered the most knowledgeable of all in navigational matters. And the figure corresponds most nearly to the southern part of Limasawa. So again, there is a sub pointing at Masawa corresponds most nearly to the southern part of Limasawa. So there is this um, uncertainty no? that Masawa did not really correspond to Limasawa. They are just near. They are just substantially near. Talis uh, nearly. The evidence from latitude becomes conclusive in favor of Limasawa and definitely excludes Butuan. Although I really love this article because it displays the historical sense of Father John Schumacher, his command of the Spanish language, and also his access to historiographical um, sources really is really good. So I admired this article. Although at the end of the day, the conclusion is just about Masawa corresponds most nearly you know, nine and two third degrees north. No? So another one, another article is from Demi P. Sonsa. The article is entitled Limasawa, the Cradle of Christianity. So the first argument is the primary sources are not definitive. So there you go, he said it. As latitudinal is concerned, although Pigafetta's 9 and 2 third degrees north is nearer Limasawa, there you go which is located at 9 degrees 55 minutes, 8 seconds north. Dan Masao, which is at 8 degrees and 57 minutes north. Uh, 8 degrees and 57 minutes north refers to the Butuan city proper because Masao is 9 degrees flat. Another argument forwarded by Professor Demi P. Sonza, that the charts show that the island of Mazawa is located near Leyte and Bohol. Mazawa's location relative to the nearby island puts it right on the very spot where Limasawa is located. Mazawa, therefore, is Limasawa. So if you look at the map, Pigafetta draw a seed chart of the islands uh, they encountered. 
So they encountered Ceylani or Leyte, this big block here. They encountered Gatighan, they encountered Bohol, and they encountered Mazawa. Although the orientation of the map is um, the, the northern part, which is Mazawa, should be in the southern part, it's an inverted orientation. And then uh, Leyte should have been on the right-hand corner. It's um, a totally inverted uh, presentation. But look, according to Professor Demi Sonsa, if you compare the maps of uh, Pigapeta and the present map of the area, you will realize that, all right, there's uh, Leyte, which Pigapeta said, Ceylani. There's Bohol, which Pigafetta says Bohol. There's um, Limasawa, which Pigafetta says Masawa. And they are all within the area. And um, doesn't even take a genius. And another um, article in Kasaysayan, which is, was written by Dr. Samuel K. Tan and Dr. Isagani Medina. The title is An Evaluation of the controversy on the first mass in the Philippines. So in here, uh, Dr. Tan and Dr. Medina made plottings in the map of um, the areas where Pigafetta and Magellan went. And they made approximations, they said, and educated guesses. No? And then they plotted, no? they actually uh, made plottings, and then they determined the area of operations contains or encompasses the important islands of Suluan, Humunhon, Leyte, Hiboson, Dinagat, Dimasawa, Bohol, Mactan, and Cebu. No? So they also noted that um, if we read further, Albo, Albo gave a warning of the route we took among the islands of Masava and Ceylani and Subu to the south. Take care, for there are many shoals and are very dangerous. So that a canoe, which we saw, no saporto, would not like to pass that way. That's a quotation from Derotero. So probably the two authors would want us to remember that if you're arguing that Lima Sawaleti is a rocky area and um, uh, there is no port for a large ship, large ships for that matter, to drop anchor, parang gusto lang sabihin na it was also noted by Francisco Albo in Derotero. And then finally, they followed the coastline of this island and went west-southwest until they came upon a small island, uninhabited and called Masava, located at latitude 9 and 2 third degrees north. According to our reconstruction, Masava is the present island of Limasawa. Its present day coordinates are 9 degrees 55 minutes north and 125 degrees 4 minutes 30 seconds east. So there you go. So, claro, claro na they're talking about the latitude of Mazawa as laid down by Pigafetta, Albo, and Genoese Pilot. Tingnan natin yung summary ng NHCP posted in their website. Number one, the Mohares panel scrutinized the coordinates of Mazawa given by the eyewitnesses and compared them with contemporary measurements. Pegafeta recorded it at 9 and 2 third degrees or if you convert it, 9 degrees and 40 minutes north latitude. Francisco Albo, another eyewitness, placed it at 9 and 1 third degrees or converted 9 degrees and 20 minutes north latitude. And the Genoese pilot, also a primary source, wrote 
9 degrees or 9 degrees 0 minutes north latitude. It is so surprising. Now, we're talking of three boats, three ships na pumunta sa parehong lugar na meron silang kanyang-kanyang instruments for measuring. Yet, ang parehong lugar, iba-iba ang kanilang pag-measure. Like, kay Pigafetta, Trinidad ito sigurado, 9 and 2 third degrees north. Si Albo, 9 and 1 third degrees north. And si Genoa's pilot is 9 degrees and 0 minutes north. This is not an ordinary difference. Kasi we're talking here of a long distance difference. 9 degrees for, in for instance and 9 degrees and 40 minutes north, that's a lot of space to cover. And you cannot just say, ah, ni round off yan ni Genoa's pilot, tinamad yan, uh, ginawa niya 9 degrees. That's 40 minutes difference. And that's really a lot of space, a lot of uh, time. There must be something wrong here and we better check kung saan ang mali dito sa mga latitudes na binigay. Commonly accepted ng lahat na latitude is the most reliable of all the details given. Latitude ang pinaka-reliable. Longitude, dismiss na siya. Kasi hindi pa daw na-discover ang chronometer during these times. Longitude cannot be relied upon. But latitude, everybody agrees that it is uh, at least reliable. No? Dun sa directions, uh, kung saan sila nagpunta, dun sa distance na liguas, I had difficult time kasi it does not make sense yung liguas. They always say 25 liguas, 30 liguas. Pero pag measure mo naman based on the concept of ligwa during their time, uh, wala, kulang. Kulang lagi, hindi umabot. Uh, the distance, for example, between Mazawa and Cebu is 35 liguas. Pag measure mo, hindi siya fit. Kulang, may kulang. So, hindi yun reliable yung liguas, yung directions. What was reliable was latitude. And everybody accepts it, no? In fact, they accepted it even, even hindi siya, even may discrepancy siya, hindi siya exact. They still accepted it. And then NHCP says that the panel cited a study presented in the 16th Multidisciplinary Scientific Geo Conference in Bulgaria 2016 by a group of experts who compared the coordinates given by Pigafetta with the present coordinates using the computer-based system and the, the result was 9 degrees 56 north latitude or only a difference of 16 minutes. Only a six, 0 degrees 16 minutes difference against Pigafetas. Well, I suppose that this group uh, the presenters of the 16th International Multidisciplinary Scientific Geo Conference was only looking at Limasawa. Because um, in all books right now, uh, Mazawa is already equated with Limasawa. They might not look at the original of Pigafetta, they might look at the translated form. Ito pa! And um, this is a daring comment. Even a layman can confirm the coordinates of Limasawa by simply googling it. And the result will be 9 degrees and 54 minutes north. Everybody can Google the place. No? And um, 9 degrees and 54 minutes north is not the same as 9 degrees and 40 minutes north. And even if it's near, it's still not the same. So a layman may find that out, but he needs an explanation why the difference. So another is taking all these pieces of evidence into account. The panel noted that although the navigational coordinates during this period were just estimates, Pegafeta's 9 degrees 40 minutes north latitude was still closer to Limasawa than that to Butuan, 
which using modern coordinates was located at 8 degrees 56 minutes north latitude. So as I said, nagtaka ako bakit tatlong measurement e eh isang lugar lang naman saan nagkamali. No? So I had an access to Pigafetta. I wasn't able to see the the original Francisco Albo. No? I only see the wiki source. Well, the genus pilot, I, I, it's also a primary source. No? Hanapin lang natin kung saan ang mistranslation. In sum, the arguments for Limasawa is really, really very simple. Malapit siya dun sa latitude na binigay ni Pegafeta. We don't care if you put one city, you dug a balangay. We don't care if all the items that were described by Pegafeta can be found in your area. We don't care if um, all the other descriptions were not present in Limasawa. All we care is that the latitude is near Limasawa. 9 degrees 40 minutes north, or 9 and 2 third degrees north, is nearer to Limasawa than that of Butuan. And 16 minutes difference. As I've said kanina, ang 9 degrees 40 minutes north is actually in the middle of Bohol Sea, and there is no island there. Pero since, sige, nearer, no? proximity ang naging basihan. No? Plus, magkatunog. Any ordinary, average, reasonable citizen, pag tinignan, oh, magkalapit-lapit, Humuno, Suluan, Leyte, Bohol, Cebu, Mactan, they are of the same eh, geographic area. And Mazawa, huh, of course, it's Limasawa. No? Ganon. Also, Insam yan lang naman pala ang ating pinag-uusapan. Ang 9 degrees 40 minutes north lang. At pag na-debunk yan, wala na ang limasawa. Right? Ayan. So hinanap ko ang 9 degrees 40 minutes north. Nilagay ko dyan sa gitna ang drawing ni Pegafeta sa isla ng Mazawa. Ayan siya. If you see, Mazawa is still far away and Butuan is very far away also. No? We are in the middle of the Bohol Sea here. No? Kaya hindi ka magtataka. Nag-iisip yung mga tao na baka may tinatago o tinago ni Magellan ang Mazawa. Ayaw niyang matuntun. Kasi may mga islang hindi mo na mahanap. Yung Abariyem. Uh, sinabi nila, kabalian. May mga isla na bahagi ng bigger island, Hinonangan, for example, was mentioned. Eh, eh, bahagi siya ng Leyte. Baybay was also mentioned as an island. Bahagi siya ng Leyte. No? So, magtataka ka. No? So, I, if you look at the map, there you can see that, that the 9 degrees 40 minutes north is not Limasawa, but in the middle of Bohol Sea. Now we'll find out how did it come about, no? So I I tried to look at ito yung nakita ko. Pegafeta said 9 degrees and 2 third, no? So this comes from the Mohares panel decision, no? Picture nila ng uh, libro ni Pegafeta on the first voyage as collected in Yale, Yale Bainic Collection. So, sa Yale University ito, I underlined the particular words of Pigafetta. New degree at two years. Nine degrees and two-thirds. Hindi, nine and two-third degrees. No? That is, na... 9 degrees and 2 third is not equal to 9 and 2 third degrees. Kasi yung 9 degrees and 2 third ay ito, 9 degrees, 0 minutes, 40 seconds. Whereas, yung kanilang ini-insist na 9 and 2 third degrees, 
Yun yung 9 degrees, 40 minutes north and 0 seconds. No? Kaya pala, si Gino is pilot, sinasabi niya 9 degrees. No, kaya niyang i- I whole number, 9 degrees, kasi ano lang pala, 40 seconds lang ang gap. 9 degrees, 0 minutes, 40 seconds, no? So, there is where the problem lies. Pigafetta said, 9 degrees and 2 third. The translation said, 9 and 2 third degrees. So, lumalabas na May two-third degree, which is equivalent to 40 minutes. Kasi ang isang degree, 60 minutes. Yung two-third, 40 minutes. Pero hindi eh. Ang sabi ni Pigafetta, nine degrees and two-thirds. Two-thirds of a minute, which is 40 seconds. Ayan. So, tingnan natin ang mga location. No? At saka yung mistranslation ni Blair and Robertson. Tingnan natin yung place, tapos Pigafetta's description, kung ano ang original description ni Pigafetta, no? na pinablish din ni Blair and Robertson kasi magka-juxtapose yun eh, eh, ang original, tapos yung translation niya. And then yung translation ni Blair and Robertson, ang numerical translation, tapos ang correct translation. So let's begin with Mazawa. Ang Pigafetta's original description says, Latitudine in noe gradi et due terci al artico. Noe gradi, 9 degrees, et due terci, and two thirds. Nung na translate na, latitude of 9 and two thirds degrees. Eh, that's a totally different. And then ang laki ng, Ang laki ng dinagdag, 40 minutes ang dinagdag and that's a lot of distance. So kaya ang numerical translation niya is 9 and 2 third degrees equivalent to 9 degrees and 40 minutes which does not, by the way, identify or exactly identify Lima Sawa which is 9 degrees and 55 minutes. Wala din siya, nasa middle of the Bohol Sea siya. So, ang correct translation is 9 degrees, 0 minutes, 40 seconds. Kasi, 9 grade, 9 degrees, it do it And, 2 third of a minute. No, hindi 2 third of a degree. 2 third of a minute. Which is 40 seconds. No? Kaya pala, tingnan nyo si Genoese Pilot, 9 degrees. Kasi negligible ang 40 seconds. Uh, malapit lang, ilang ilang meter lang yan. No? Ngayon, Zubu. Sinabi, latitudine al polo artico in x gradi. Nung x ay eh, Roman numeral of 10. So, x degrees of latitude, which is a correct translation. Kagayan, al polo artico in centigrade et mezzo. O tingnan mo nung translate. Latitude of 7 and a half degrees. Hindi siya. Latitude of 7 degrees and 30 seconds. Ganun siya. So, can I further prove it, no? Kung talagang minutes ang nire-refer niya. He won't use fraction in minutes. Simbonbon, for example, an island near Borne. Ang original description ni Pigafetta is octogradi et sete minuti. Eight degrees and seven minutes. No? He would exactly say how many minutes. He won't use fraction. If he really intended Limasawa to be 9 degrees and 40 minutes, he would have said Nui Grade at 40 minuti. No? Just like what he did with Simbonbon. And further, look at Sarangani. Latitudine in 5 Grade at 9 minuti. A latitude of 5 degrees 
and nine minutes. And then you, near Cavite, no, it's uh, southern Mindanao. In Segradi, it's city minute. In a latitude of six minutes, six degrees and seven minutes. There you go. When Pigafetta intended minutes, he will say so. He will not place it in a fraction form. He will not say nine and two third degrees. He would say noi grade et quaranta minuti. No? Ayan. And there is where the hulabalo happened. Kasi we translated the fraction of Pigafetta into a fraction of a degree instead of a minute. And even if it does not fit Lima Sawa, we insisted that it should be Lima Sawa. No? So, in fact, 9 degree, 0 minutes, and 40 seconds north latitude places Masawa exactly as the Masao port. And besides, if you look at the map, no? ito drinowing ni Pegafeta, Masawa. Ayan ang din rowing niya. On the western part, meron daw magandang port. Tingnan mo ang east-west orientation niya. No? Hindi siya pa north-south orientation. Ang Limasawa ay malayo. Eh, considering na nakita halos ni Magellan ni Magellan ni Pigafetta yung kabuuan kasi they climb a higher ground. No? Malayo and, and this was already being presented by um, Vicente de Jesus, a Magellan scholar. Dr. John Burton would say the Pigafetta map looks like northeastern Mindanao. And besides, uh, may tradition doon sa, sa Mindanao na nagpunta si, si Magellan doon. You see, if, if the documents are not specific, if the documents does not pinpoint exactly, the tradition can be consulted. In the first place, Zubu, Matan. We started with the tradition. Matagal na nating alam na nagpunta si Magellan doon even before we saw Pigafetta's document being translated even before Blair and Robertson came out with their translation. Andrea Damusto came out with their translation. And even Colin and Combes, even before they come up with their Labor Evangelica at saka um, Historia di Mindanao i Hulu, we already know by tradition, tradition is important. Lagi niyong sinasabi, kung may primary documents, we do away with the tradition. That is correct. But if the primary document is vague, and subject to question, we better consult the tradition. No? Ayan ang Magellan's Monument in 1921. No? Inayos nila despite the fact na it was not declared as the site. No? It was a very strong tradition. 300 years. No? Meron niyang pinagmulang kernel of truth. Hindi yan, hindi yan hinula. So for now, thank you. I will present the Butuan arguments in my next video. Kasi masyadong mahaba pag uh, ating i-detail lahat sa isang video. The Limasawa claim was relying on the latitude presented by Pigafetta, Albo, and the Genoese pilot. Pigafetta said it's 9 degrees and 2 thirds, not 9 and 2 third degrees. And when you convert that 9 degrees and 2 thirds, that is actually 9 degrees and 0 minutes and 40 seconds, which is corroborated by the Genoese pilot, 9 degrees and 0 minutes. So it places where the Mazawa is, and the Mazawa is in Masao, Butuan City.
So stay tuned for my next video, which will present the arguments on the side of Butuan. Thank you very much, and we'll see each other again very soon.